Hello, Mount Tabor. I'm Frederick Evans. It, and I'm Dylan Davis. And welcome to the WMTH News, your Spartan News Network. Today is Friday, November 20th, 2015. Here is your weekend weather report with Xavier. I'm Xavier. I'm here with your weekend weather report. On Friday, it's going to be sunny with a high of 58. Saturday is going to be sunny with a high of 54. And Sunday is going to be sunny with a high of 45. Thanksgiving is not on here, so I predict that it's going to be cloudy with a chance of gravy. If April showers bring May flowers, what do May flowers bring? Pilgrims. Thank you, Xavier. Cloudy with a chance of gravy. How do we prepare for that? And now here is our newscaster, Ruthie Naomi, with some information about Teacher Appreciation Week. What is this? This is Teacher, teacher Thank You Week. So, this is Teacher Thank You Check Week? Check your email. There's an attachment that has a series of activities going each day this week. We appreciate our teachers and staff, and we, we love you guys, and we hope you have a great week. Our Spanish club learned about flamenco dancing. Here they are to tell us ab about it. Fans are from southern Spain. They use them with flamenco music and dance. Ladies use fans to tell a young man that they like them at a gathering. <laughs> different fan movements have different messages. is selling pies for Thanksgiving for only $12 each. The flavors available are apple caramel, Oreo, pumpkin, and chicken. See Miss Carrie Bennett in room 111 to purchase your pie. If you ordered a yearbook before the holiday break, you can get it personalized for free. To com complete a personalization process, please see Mr. Mullis in room 105 to complete a form. And now, the WMTH political update with Andrew Mark Walter. <laughs> Hey Spartans, it's Andrew Mark Walter and here's your political update. The Democratic debate took place last Saturday in Des Moines, Iowa. The debate included the frontrunner, Secretary Hillary Clinton, Chief Rival Senator Bernie Sanders, and almost irrelevant Governor Martin O'Malley. The debate lasted two hours and foreign policy dominated the first half of the debate, and economic and domestic issues dominated the second part. Both of Hillary's rivals took swings at her, saying that her donors are all big Wall Street executives. Rivals also blasted her for not being genuine, like the other candidates. Supporters said that she is polished and that she was the most presidential on the stage, and Bernie supporters argued that he was the most genuine and thoughtful in his answers. Rivals also called out Chairman or Chairwoman Representative Debbie Wasserman Schultz for rigging the debate for Hillary Clinton. Governor O'Malley said that they put the debates in the middle of times and people will watch it because the debates are in the middle of football games, shopping season, and other weird times in order to coronate Hillary Clinton to be the nominee. Hey, this is Donald Trump with whom am I speaking? This is Senator Rand Paul. Donald, you are not even a true Republican. You should drop out of this race for all of us. You're a joke, Rand. I don't even understand why you're even on the stage. Your poll numbers are so low. You're such a loser and a pathetic lightweight. Donald, you have a lot to learn about being nice to others. I could care less about what others think. I'm really rich, and you have like two dollars. You're so poor. I'm hanging up now. <laughs> Ah, thank you for that, Andrew. Hey, Dylan, how do you tell a male turkey from a female turkey? I'm not quite sure, Fred. How do you? He's the one with the remote. Ah. 
The annual Stan Poetry Slam for Dark Four has been postponed to March. We need more poets, so come out and audition so you can be part of it. Would you like to be a part of the WMTH News? If you have any cool ideas, projects, or anything you are proud of from your class or club, or have a message to share, please contact Ms. Yuri. And now, a special tribute to the people of Paris from our Mount Tabor French Club. On behalf of the Mount Tabor French Department, we would like to pay tribute to France in the wake of the recent terror attacks. This past summer, I had the opportunity to visit France, and I now hold a special place in my heart for the country of France and its people. The thought of the devastation in Paris is so tragic that it is difficult to talk about. The people of Paris and the families of the victims are foremost in my thoughts and prayers. The motto for over 2,000 years in Paris has been, our boat can be tossed about, but it will not sink. We hope this motto will be true once more in history and that the beauty and the light of Paris will never fade away. Remember, next week is a short week in observance of Turkey Day. We only have school on Monday and Tuesday. Hey, Fred, why can't you take a turkey to church? They use foul language. Killing it. All right, that's all. Take it easy, Mount Tabor.